In this video, I'll show you how you can import SVG files into Articulate Storyline 360 with PowerPoint. Hi, I'm Mark Sperman from Upward Online Learning, where I teach you how you can create e-learning modules yourself with Articulate Storyline. And are you new here? Then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification icon so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. Are you ready? Then let's get started. For this tutorial, I've already created a .svg file. And let's look at the process first on how to import SVG files in Articulate Storyline 360. And after that, I'll give you some tips on free programs to create SVG files yourself. So keep watching. I already created this simple but beautiful SVG file. Oh yeah, by the way, SVG file stands for Scalable Vector Graphics. And if you want to know more about SVGs and why you can use them, I've put a link in the description below to a video playlist made by Kevin Powell, where he explains what SVG files are and how you create them yourself. You can't import SVG files directly into Storyline 360. Storyline 360 has no SVG support at this moment when this video was recorded. But there's a workaround and for this workaround you will need PowerPoint. So let's start PowerPoint and add a blank slide and go to the insert tab. Now my PowerPoint version is in Dutch, so here it's called invoegen, but in the English version it's called insert. Now click on images and search for the SVG file on your computer that you want to import in PowerPoint. For me it's test.svg and it's this beautiful purple SVG file. And the next step is to save our PowerPoint file and to close PowerPoint. And now it's time to fire up Storyline 360. In Storyline, I'll choose New Project. I click on File, Import, and choose PowerPoint. And now I'll select the PowerPoint file with the SVG file in it and click on Open. Storyline opens automatically the Insert Slide window. In this window, I can select which PowerPoint slides I want to import. Now, in this case, I only want to import the slide with the SVG file and I'll save it in a new scene called SVG. Now click on the import button and let Storyline do its magic. Now Storyline imports the slide and sometimes this can take a while. When Storyline is finished, you'll see a new scene called SVG with your SVG file in it. So I'll double click the slide to open slide view. And you'll see now that Storyline broke up my SVG file into shapes and grouped them. Now, for some reason, on this SVG file, there's a weird black border. Now, it's easy to remove it. So let's remove it by ungrouping the objects by pressing Ctrl plus Shift plus G on your keyboard. And now you'll see that the black border is disappeared. And now I can regroup the objects by pressing Ctrl plus G on my keyboard. The benefit that Storyline converted my SVG file to shapes is that I can change the shapes. Um, I can, for instance, change the fill or change the line color. The rectangle with the top rounded corners has a black outline. Now, if I double click the shape, the format tab opens. And if I click on the shape outline and I set the outline to no outline, I can simply remove the outline. But I can also adjust the fill color, for instance, when I click the shape fill and use another fill color. Now you saw, saw how easy it was to import an SVG file in Storyline 360 through PowerPoint. In the beginning of this video, I also promised some tools as alternative for Adobe Illustrator to create your own SVG files. Now two of the best tools are Inkscape and Graphic Designer. Where Graphic Designer comes with a free version where you can do a basic SVG export and the paid version of $99 per year where you have all full functionalities. So now you know the trick how to import your SVG files in Articulate Storyline and which free tools are available to create SVG files yourself for your e-learning project. Now let me know in the comments below how you can use SVG files in your next e-learning project. If you want to build your Articulate Storyline skills, then make sure you get my free step-by-step -step guide on how to create engaging e-learning in Articulate Storyline in less time. 
and I will know for sure it will help you because it shows you my exact process that I'll use for every early module that I built in Articulate Storyline. You can, you can find my free guide on artworkonlinelearning.com slash free guide. And if this video was useful to you, then hit the like button below. And don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel by clicking subscribe and clicking the bell notification icon so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos that I publish every Thursday on YouTube. Thanks for watching and have a great day.